you know that the size and distribution of the grains over on that bar over there are controlled by things like the slope of this river and the discharge, the amount of water that goes through here every year, and even things like the density of water. Now behind me here are some rocks that were deposited millions of years ago in a shallow ocean, deposited by some of the same factors that are controlling the deposition in the river here today. Now you're probably wondering, well why the heck does this matter? Who cares, right? Well get this, what if I told you that on the other side of this outcrop there was a winery? And what if the grapes that were grown at that winery required a very distinct soil type? And what if that soil type required a very distinct geology? Now what if I wasn't just talking about grapes and wine, but what if I was talking about the world's food supply being dependent on things like geology and climate? What if the interactions that you have on a day-to-day -day basis are controlled or influenced by things that have already occurred? Wouldn't it be crazy if the food that you ate was partially determined by ocean currents that existed millions and millions of years ago. I don't think that would be crazy. I think that would be geography. And that's why geography matters.